chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, COPD, is a very important, very big problem in every single country and across Europe, across United States, across the world. Uh, it is well known that uh, this disease is related, very strongly related to smoking. 90% of people with COPD are smokers or ex-smokers. Uh, only 10% uh, maybe this is the group of passive or so-called passive smokers. Looking at the epidemiology, we could say that it is fourth reason of mortality across the world. Uh, of course, the countries of Central and Eastern European countries are, are a little bit different in epidemiology of COPD than Western countries, which is related to smoking habits. In, in a country, in such country, where are the uh, important group of smokers, it is related to COPD. Uh, one of the aspects of, uh, uh, of COPD are exacerbations, especially these exacerbations which are, uh, which are uh, treated in hospitals. About 30-40% of uh, hospitalization in, uh, pulmonary, the, in pulmonary wards, in pulmonary hospitals, are related to COPD. These infections are, uh, could be bacterial, vi vi virus are important, and sometimes another atypical agents. Uh, so uh, the question about vaccination in this group of patients is also of value. Uh, for example, uh, in uh, many countries, vaccination against influenza and vaccination against pneumococcal infections are uh, recommended for this group of patients. Uh, if you would like to, to um, for example, to find differences between countries, uh, as I said, it depends on, on, on smoking habits, but of course on other, on other factors. Uh, for example, the big problem is compliance of patients, adherence, persistence, uh, of, uh, persistence on uh, long-term therapy. Uh, of course, com comorbidities, because very often these patients suffer not only from COPD, but also uh, another diseases which, uh, which could complicate, complicate the uh, diseases of such patients. For example, diabetes, uh, 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 circulation problems and others. To sum up, there are many important things related to these patients, but uh, first of all, it's uh, very important to give up smoking, to avoid infection, using uh, especially uh, some vaccinations, for example, pneumococcal vaccinations or anti-influenza uh, vaccination, and of course, they should be well treated but uh, very important is also uh, the state that uh, many patients with COPD are, are unrecognized, un, uh, underdiagnosed and undertreated.